There was a, a mishap in Saranac Lake recently. Uh, Kenneth McLaughlin is the dive team captain at the Saranac Lake Fire Department. Kenneth, thanks for coming on this morning. Thank you for having me. And uh, so uh, you just had a big rescue the other day. Can we talk about that first? And then I'd like to kind of parlay into some some safety uh, talk here. But what happened this past weekend? Well, we had uh, initially it started off with two people falling through the ice by the ice castle. Uh, they self-rescued themselves and were treated. And then later on that weekend, we had uh, two people go through the ice on Oceda Lake on four wheelers. One individual self-rescued himself four times before he finally made it back to uh, shore. Wow. And the, uh, the woman that uh, was out there also, she went out to look for him. She went through and was unable to self-rescue. And uh, we were out searching for probably, oh, I don't know, I'm going to say over 50 minutes before we finally got close to her. And when we shut down our airboat uh, to make a radio call and to listen, uh, my chief who was with me heard a faint uh, noise, and we shut everything off, and we could hear in the distance someone hollering. And uh, he set out with his uh, rescue suit on and our rescue sling and rope towards the area, which was about uh, probably a football field's length wow. or more away. Wow. And was able to put the sling over her and secure her with the sling and the rope until we could get our other hovercraft up there to assist in getting her out of the water and uh, back to our big boat where we could put the thermal recovery capsule on her and uh, then fly her down to a landing where the re- volunteer rescue squad was waiting to treat her at that time. Uh, so this story, of course, uh, ends positively, but, you, you know, um, had you not found her, I mean, how much longer could she have, uh, have held on there? That's the, I well, mean, you know, that's the first five minutes. If they hang on, normally you're pretty good. If they don't struggle, yeah. uh, you can have another half hour, 45 minutes. And she, she was there probably for 45 minutes oh my gosh. and wow. hanging on, uh, with her four wheeler, which was still half on the ice and half in the water. Hmm. Uh, had she tried to struggle, she might have gone down, you know, with the yeah. four-wheeler, and then it would have been a whole different uh, scenario, as we found out over in Tupper Lake, where uh, yeah. two men drowned over there. Yeah, uh, that was you know, an and, awful and, thing. And we don't—we're having this up and down uh, with the temperature. It's going up, and then uh, you know, way up, and then we get rain, and then it's back down to cold, and and what seems to be uh, ice that has the proper thickness. Um, is not as thick as we've seen in winters well, before. Well, especially in Saranac Lake, which is typically yeah. a yeah. lot colder well, but, than I mean, look, other areas. 44, then it's 19, right, then it's the 46, well, are you see- 20. Kenneth, right. uh, are you seeing yes. that? That's the problem this oh, year? Oh, yeah, that's that's one of the problems. Yeah. Uh, for example, now we're talking about, I'll talk about the first ones that went out onto the lake by the ice castle. If you look at the ice castle, we have 12 inches of ice blocks that thick. But they were all taken from the bay. They weren't taken out into the uh, actual lake part, right. which <clears throat> Lake Flower technically was a river that was dammed and made into a lake. So we have a current that comes all the way down through, and where the boat launch is, it comes into that part of the shore, and then it bounces back out. Okay. So you never have much ice there. Yeah. And it's tough for people to grab that sometimes when they look at the ice castle, see all that ice, mm-hmm. and then they don't understand that the ice is thinner in other spots. And, you know, there, there's a uh, general guide they put out for ice. But this time of the year, the way the weather's been, and as you were talking, you know, the ups and downs, yeah, yeah. I mean, they tell you two inches or less stay off. Well, that ice we were on the other day doing the rescue was only about two inches thick. Wow, wow. And uh, they talk about, you know, four inches for uh, activity on foot. Well, then you go to five, they say, well, snowmobile or ATV can go across. Well, that's if you've got good, great ice. Yeah. And we yeah. don't have that right now. Yeah. And yeah. that's tough to get across to people. Would you, and, uh, well, you know, when people ask me about the ice and the thicknesses and stuff, yeah. I tell them we have a standing uh, order that our team tells everybody that no ice is safe and all ice is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. And if you keep that in the back of your mind, you're going to be a lot more cautious on what you do on a lake, even if it is uh, good-looking ice, yeah. than you would if you just walked out there and had nothing uh, to think about. And that is the one thing that, uh, you know, the, especially if you're a novice and you really haven't done it for a long time, 
uh, the, the currents. You don't know when there's where a current might be, which is definitely going to make the ice thinner. Um, and uh, more. So uh, maybe this year is just a year. Be very. I mean, you got to be really cautious around ice this year. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. All right. so that's one of the big things we try to emphasize. And the fact we also people don't want to listen because a lot of people are macho. Yeah. We try to tell everybody to wear a personal flotation device mm-hmm. uh, or a flotation jacket. Now, yep. most of our guys that run the lake and they know the lake probably better than the back of their hand. They even go out there and they wear flotation jackets because they've seen the advantages if they happen to go through the ice. Yeah. And even if, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I got to tell you, the other thing that's the, the real killer here is uh, when hypothermia sets in, I mean, your body can only last the cold for so long. And, yeah. Oh, for uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, listen, Kenneth, what you guys do is amazing, and we thank you for your service. Kenneth McLaughlin, uh, dive team captain, Saranac Lake Fire Department, thanks so much for, uh, for coming on this morning. Thank you very much, and you All have right. a great day. Okay.